Hi guys, it's Inga. Welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited about my review today because it's from a makeup line from my all-time favorite Korean makeup artist, Pony. So Pony is coming out with a line on March 18th that you can buy in stores like Mini Box as well as online at gmarket.com and that is her Pony Effect Essentials line. So her line includes a lot of essentials like foundation, powder, eyebrow mascara, eyeshadow crayon, fluid lip tint, etc. I think she might also have eyeliner, but don't quote me on that because I'm not quite sure. So the items I'm going to review for you guys today are her seamless foundation, her stay put eye stick, and her favorite fluid tint. So a quick product breakdown for you guys. First, the foundation. It's broken down into the basic Korean shades of 13, 21, and 23. I already watched a Korean review and she got the shade 23. She said it was a little light for her, so she thought it might be like an NC20, but it does oxidize over time and so it does get a little darker, so it wasn't too terrible for her skin tone. I ended up getting the shade 21, and the way that Pony split up the shades is that although 13 is the only lightest shade, 21 has two different shades, a yellow tone and a rose tone, and 23 also has two different shades, a yellow tone and a rose tone. The color I got today is the Rose Ivory, which is in shade 21. So her seamless foundation is SPF 30 and PA++, and it comes about one milliliter, which I feel like is a pretty good amount. The bottle itself is pretty much exactly like the Hourglass Primer that you can get, and I actually really enjoy it. I like the frosted glass, and I really like the rose gold. I've really been into rose gold, so that kind of fits very well for me. It just feels more expensive, and I really like that. One thing to note is that it does say shake before use, so I'm assuming if you don't shake, maybe the product does separate and you're not going to get as even of an application. I can tell you that if you're going to be using a primer underneath, I highly recommend using a silicone-based primer. These are the primers that feel really soft and silky when you put them on, such as the really, really popular one by Smashbox, the Photo Finish. And if you are in Korea, the Prime Prime It Original Primer. I did attempt to use this with the Etude House Face Blur Primer, and although I really do like this primer, it didn't work as effectively with this foundation. I found this foundation ended up really settling into pores when I used this. So I did go ahead and try to look up ingredients for you, but I could only find three ingredients in English, and one of them was purified water. Another one was just an emollient, so basically to kind of control how fluid it is, and the last one was just titanium dioxide, which is a sunscreen. The second product I'm going to review for you guys today is the Favorite Fluid Tint. So there are, I think, five different shades of this as well. There's a pink, a peach, an orange red, a cool toned red, and then more of a darker plumish burgundy color. The color I have for you today is the orange red in Go Pitta Pat. I'm also going to do a wear test for you guys and kind of talk about how long it lasted and if it lasted, etc. I can tell you right now though, it has a consistency that really reminds me of the new formula of the Etude House Very Delicious Liquid in Lips, but the consistency of the liquid in lips I like better. The last product I'm going to review for you guys today is her Stay Put Waterproof Eye Crayon Shadow Stick. Now the one I have is matte, she has a lot of ones that are very shimmery, but I haven't been too incredibly happy with her actual eyeshadow palettes, the shimmery shades, although I really enjoyed her matte shades she's included. So I ended up going for a more shimmery stick and it's in a really beautiful rose beige almondy color. So the eyeshadow stick itself glides on really, really, really beautifully. And before it sets, you can blend it out and it blends out gorgeously. So, so far, I've really enjoyed this. I think it's incredibly blendable and when it sets, it sets fantastic. Now, I'm really happy to tell you guys that all of these products are cruelty free. It says so on the box. It even has a cute little rose gold bunny right above the free of animal testing little tab that it has. So let's go ahead and go on to the wear test. I am going to apply this with a beauty blender because I think that this product applies best with the beauty blender and I highly suggest that if you are going to apply this product to apply it with a beauty blender. So let's go ahead and check it out. Let's take a 
I actually am really, really liking the finish on this. It's not matte, it's not glossy, it's just a very natural finish. And with the Beauty Blender, it actually looks really nice on the skin right now. Even on the side that is not primered, it hasn't sunk into pores. I would say it's definitely a medium coverage, but let's see if it is buildable because if it is, then you can always build it into being full coverage. Cause they don't want to see what we've done And who could blame them Who want to shine their light So it's a little buildable but it's still not a full full coverage You can still kind of see the pink in my cheeks a little peeking through But so far fantastic job of just evening out my skin tone So now I'm just going to go ahead and finish up just my face and then I'll move on to the other two items I bought. Okay, so I finished the base and so far I'm really liking this foundation. It hasn't patched up. You do need to be careful if you're going to be trying to apply something with more of a hard bristle brush because then you can cause streaks. So I would say be very gentle with your brushes. Soft strokes, soft brushes and nothing really rough. The next thing I picked up was the Favorite Fluid Lip Tint and it's supposed to be like a gloss and tint, so more moisturizing for your lips. The one thing I have to say is if you have these all lined up, it is going to be more difficult to see which color you're getting because the only way you're going to be able to really see the color is by looking directly here. So the applicator is actually really, really straight like this and I don't know if you can see but it's really flexible. I did not find this to be the easiest to apply, but I do really like the fact that you can share it out or build it up, which I'm going to show you guys right now. So this is what it looks like when it has been put on more sheer. Although this is more of an orangey red or a true red, it does look a little pink just on the outsides when I sheared it out but you can build this up, so let me do that now. I tell you, it is still really sheer. I've got some lines, I've got patchiness. It's not a product that I would suggest if you really want to have a really bold red lip because it's not going to go on incredibly smoothly. You're gonna get patching. So I'll wear this out for the day, we'll see how long it actually lasts on my lip and how often I need to reapply it. Now to see if this is going to leave a stain, I'm going to go ahead and brush some on my hand and then I'll go ahead and finish up my eyeshadow and we can wipe it off and see if my hand is stained. So the last product I picked up was Pony FX Stay Put Eye Sticks. This one I picked up is called Rose Dress and it is a matte shade. You have the color marker on the end which is nice so you can always tell what color it is. For being in Korea, I can tell you it actually is very very difficult to find a shadow stick in a more matte shade. If you go to the, the road shops, you're going to find sticks that are a little thicker and shimmery. This is all about that shimmer. <laughs> This does claim to be long-lasting as well as waterproof and who doesn't love to have some waterproof, easy to apply eyeshadow, especially since it's going to be summer. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this and then we'll wear it out throughout the day and I'll come back to you in a little bit to talk about how it looks, how it feels and the pros and cons. I just finished applying this and I think I am in love. It glides on so smoothly and then I could blend it out really really easily right away. If this sets down and stays all day I am going to be a huge advocate of at least the matte shade. I'm loving it. Uh, this is the liner I used and what I did notice is this kind of when it starts to set gets a little tacky so it's not like it doesn't set down into a powder feel, it sets down into a little bit more tackier feel. I had to kind of clean this off and then 
try to do it a little bit more because it picks up a little bit of the product and started to kind of clog up. So be aware of that. If you're going to use this, probably stay away from a pen type and maybe go for, I would say, a gel or a liquid type eyeliner. Okay, since I finished my eyeshadow, let's see if this does stain. So this will stain your lips if you like that or maybe you don't. I'm gonna go out about my day. Mm -mm. Okay, so I've now had this on for five hours. Because it is 5 p.m. here in Korea and I just got back and my laundry's running. If you're lucky, you'll get to hear the little laundry song. Overall, let's talk about my impressions about wearing this throughout the day. The, the wrinkles on my face are a little bit more noticeable, but at the same time, it's really not that bad. I don't have that visible like line when the foundation settles in. That's not there. The foundation hasn't dried down completely. You can still feel there's moisture in there, which probably is one of the reasons why the wrinkles on my face aren't like huge crevices. So overall, the foundation, I'm gonna have to say, is fantastic um, for a cream foundation. I have to say, this foundation might even beat out my favorite Innisfree foundation. I can tell you there is a little bit on the non-primered side of my nose that the foundation has gone into pores a little bit, but on a day-to-day -day basis, I would use a primer that fills in pores and smooths things over anyways, so that wouldn't be an issue for me. So, next thing was, of course, the lips. The lips, they've, they're not kiss-proof. You can see I still have some that comes off, even though I've been wearing it for a long time. My lips do feel moisturized. They're not dried out, but the one thing I can say is I can see that the the patches on my lips are now really, really red and the rest of my lip is more pink. So if you can see here on my lips, it's in the patches and it's not very even. So I have to tell you if you're going to use this, you, you will want to exfoliate beforehand, otherwise it's going to show up a lot and it, it's different in the sense of the Etude House liquid lips, the new line they came out with for spring because this one I feel like goes on more streaky. Etude House one I feel like blends out a lot better without going into your lines and etc. The staying power though for what it is, it, it is okay. I didn't eat anything yet so that is also a thing if you eat this might of course disappear. It is definitely more of like, I told you. And now for the eye pencil. So I feel like the real test of this eye shadow pencil is going to come around summer when it gets really humid and crazy and I start sweating everything out of my body and anything, even your waterproof mascara decides it wants to smudge one day, you know. It has settled into the crease here and so I'm gonna have to say you probably will want to use an eyeshadow base with these but the part by my lash line and under my eye here where I put it it is still just like how when I applied it earlier today. It looks the exact same. Um, so I feel like if, if I put on an actual eyeshadow primer before putting this on, it is going to be like a dream. Obviously with the matte, with the eyeshadow, I can't speak for the sparkly ones. I have a feeling that some of them you're going to be like, oh, I'm really excited, and it's going to end up being a lot of sparkle and not a lot of color. So I would be aware of that, although it seems like her darker shades, when people have swatched them, have looked really good, but the lighter shades seem to be just not enough. 
So overall, I'm gonna have to say the foundation is awesome and I really, really enjoy it. If you wanna see a review of the foundation and the powder, I highly, highly suggest that you go and you check out Leah, Leah Yu, I think that's her name. I will also link her review video in the description box below. She tested shade 23. I highly suggest to go check her video out because she makes great reviews. On the lip gloss, or on the tint, I'm gonna say go ahead and pass. I really am not feeling it too much. Uh, there are other products I can get that are better, especially for the price tag this has of like the 18,000 won or 16,000 won. It's just, it's too much for, for what it's giving me. And the eyeshadow stick, I'm gonna say I like it. I like the matte one, but I can't speak for the glitter. That's all I have for you guys today. As always, if there's anything special you guys wanna see, put it down in the description box below. And I ordered pizza, so I'm now going to eat and demolish the rest of my lip. Quick question for you guys. If you want me to do a review of the April Skin Cushion, please leave a comment down in the comment box below. And I will see about getting to that for next month as one of my reviews. Anyway, goodbye.